What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nicola Espresso and welcome to today's video. Now today, what we're going to be talking about is Advanced Warfare of course, but in this one it's going to be a little more open-ended. I'm going to try and gauge where you guys are when thinking about this whole topic, all while bringing you guys my thoughts and opinions on it all. Today we're going to be discussing the co-op mode for Advanced Warfare. Now, I know I talked about this previously before once or twice, but I've been giving more thoughts and ideas while considering other rumors and completely disagreeing with some. So we're going to reevaluate the whole situation, but before we get too far into it, I don't do this often, but but if you do enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like down below. My target goal for this video is 40 likes, and I say that only because I feel like since I used scheduled uploader yesterday, that my video didn't get as much as exposure as my previous videos. So if we could get it back on track, that would be absolutely awesome. But back to the topic at hand here, what about our co-op mode? We know there will be one. Sledgehammer ended up dropping that information a little bit before E3. But that is the extent of our knowledge, and we have no other information other than that. So as to when we'll get more, probably a month or so before launch, that's usually when we'll see the general time frame of our co-op mode being teased to us in recent years so until then we're pretty much stuck in the dark unless a leak comes out which I wouldn't count on until at least August and we're knocking on Advanced Warfare's door. Now if that's the case why am I even making this video? Well because there are a few areas of interest in the co-op world that a lot of people want to see and don't want to see all while some theories are tremendously far-fetched others are a little bit more plausible so I'm going to only discuss a few but they're probably the most known among the community. Let's go in order from probably the least plausible to the most. The first being dino co-op. A lot of people say they want to see a dinosaur co-op mode. Hell, even larger channels were reporting on it. Whether or not that's to go with the flow, they actually want to see it, or they just want to get their viewers by titling their videos something extremely absurdly crazy. Like I said, who knows, but this is one of the rumors circulating. Now, I'm always one to be open to other people's ideas and opinions. I'm not ever going to shoot them down and insult them, but I just can't see this one being very plausible. Why? Well, how much could you really do shooting at dinosaurs? I can't think of much, as well as it wouldn't make sense to go in the complete opposite direction of the time when your campaign takes place 40 years in the future. Unless it is somehow tied in with the story, which I can't really see it happening, I'm going to say that this one is extremely far-fetched and not going to happen, but who knows, I've been wrong before. So what about Spec Ops? That's another thing that's going around, and while it's plausible simply because what else can Sledgehammer do to top zombies or match extinction? So that in turn brings us to our third co-op mode that we already know of, and that's Spec Ops that we've seen in previous years. Now here's why I don't think it'll happen. Spec Ops, if you remember, may have been fun to you, but the community overall had such a displeasure with it and made such a fuss over it, I don't think Sledgehammer would touch that with a 10-foot pole. Another one to do is Cyborg Zombies. Do you guys remember Call of Duty Online? I mentioned it a couple times here on my channel, but the co-op mode for that was a twist on Zombies and the original Knocked Map. While it played a lot differently in terms of weapons, power-ups, and even the fact that it had an endgame, at least at the moment, it still was a new spin off of the Zombies mode that everybody loved. Even I speculated maybe it would be a marketing ploy to see if the community would want to see that happening. While I still think it's something that Activision would do to try and pull in the community and pull one over our eyes so that we can see development without actually knowing it was in development, I think it's a little too late to be getting the community involved in this one. We saw our first online footage only a few months ago, and in order for that to be developed into the game, we need at least a year and a half or something similar for Sledgehammer to adequately put it in the game unless they're miracle workers. Another rumor is that zombies could be in the game. While I usually would be the one to say no directly to this and as quickly as it comes up, we did have a survey a month back or so that asked what people would like to see in Advanced Warfare, and a Zombies mode was, interestingly enough, one of the selectable answers. Fans have come to expect Zombies every other title in the past six years. With Treyarch wrapping up the storyline with what was a great story, would it be possible to see a branching story and another studio picking up the pieces and forming another fan favorite? Now, finally, my personal choice and one that I feel is the most plausible isn't anything we've seen before. I can't really give you any information because what I'm suggesting is that it's brand new. Nothing involving zombies or aliens like in previous titles, but rather something brand new. What could that include? Well, we do go very far in the future for this game. A world revolving around technology, the age of drones, and more powerful men. And just a few quick ideas that I've had off the top of my head that could make a plausible route for our co-op mode include an iRobot-esque takeover where we need to stop them all before they take over or whatever it may be. A chemical out 
outbreak with mutated species considering that one of our missions we've seen so far is actual footage from a chemical plant and it seems like all hell breaks loose in that mission I could see that being a possibility and then a horde mode with the new mech suits similar to survival or even zombies if played right and the full mechs that we saw in the reveal trailer could be bosses and such but I don't know these are just ideas that I came up with off the top of my head real quick like I said they're not anything too special they probably wouldn't stand up against the entire Call of Duty community saying oh this is a good idea but they're just food for thought so that's all for me today guys let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below do you guys believe that any of these theories that I went over are plausible and if so which ones do you think will make it in advanced warfare if you did like the video please leave a like ring down below any shares to your Facebook Twitter and or MySpace video would you like that always greatly appreciated if you're new here be sure to subscribe to the best of Call of Duty advanced warfare content and it is information you guys know exactly where to find it right here up on my channel thank you guys once again so much for watching my name is Nicole Espresso as always if you guys are having a great day I shall see you guys tomorrow take care and peace Surprise, motherfucker.